Hey everyone, from Dings, welcome back to Don't Escape Four Days to Survive. We currently just woke up. We're gonna have a we had a nightmare about blistering hot weather coming our way. But first, we must meet our good old friend Kate. Get this hatch open. Cool it down. Put it right there. Well, easy. Nice landing. Considering the fact it was flying on fumes and half its controls were broken, I said I did a good job. Well then, glad you're okay. Sorry that you're sorry for your helicopter. It wasn't really mine. Sorry for crashing it into your house. It's not really mine. Hey, you think you could lower that gun now? I mean, you no harm. Hmm. You look harmless, alright. Thanks. My name is David. Catherine. Oh, just Kate. Yeah. Do I... Do I know you? What? No. I mean... Okay, this... This is awkward. Yeah. Maybe we were on the same train or bus one time back in the old days. Or something like that. Nope. It was something else. <laughs> That's oddly timed. Anyway, do you think you could help me with something, David? I gotta say no to a pretty lady with a loaded gun in her hand. I'm trying to get somewhere. An outpost. What kind of outpost? The one that could help me leave this place. Leave this world. Are you sure you didn't hit your head during that crash? They have a spaceship. Ooh. I still have this gun, you know. Wait, you're serious about the spaceship? Dead serious. Cyril Plexus, the corporation. They own the whole fleet of ships. When things went nasty, they used those ships to evacuate their top researchers and some of the richest people off the planet. I know for a fact there is still one ship left on Earth, and I plan on using it to escape. You can come with me if you want. Wait a minute, that's an awful lot of process. Listen, I can take you there and you'll see for yourself. Who are you exactly? Just a girl trying to survive. Okay, but what's with the spaceship, the outpost, and all that stuff? You seem to know a lot. Listen, I'm a person that's going to escape this hole before it goes to hell. With or without you. Sure. There's a pickup truck in the van. Are you trying to impress me or something? Well, we could use it to get to that outpost of yours. I guess we could. Do you think the moon is going to destroy the earth? Yes. I don't think it, I know it. The moon is over is unstable ever since the incident. I've noticed lately that it's been getting bigger every day. Yes, it's going to fall down and wipe everything out. It's going to turn the whole planet into a ball of molten lava. Nothing can survive, no matter how deep and tough of a shelter you have. Do you know when? In three or four days. What? I thought it's more like years away. I'm sorry, but that's the main reason we have to get to that spaceship. So what kind of spaceship is it? Like a giant arc that can travel between stars, like in the movies? No, nothing like that. It's a small ship capable of getting to the Earth's orbit. But that should be enough. But what happens next once we reach orbit? There's a space station. You're not making this all up as you go along, are you? Nope. I'm telling you, there's a space station where everyone went. That's our destination. But don't worry about that for now. First, we have to survive for long enough to actually get there. So, what is this outpost of yours? It's a small research facility with a spaceship launch platform. Okay, where is it? I don't know. What do you mean? You said you can take me there. Yeah, but it's not like that's easy. Why? All the helicopter's navigation systems got smashed to bits when I crashed, and this outpost doesn't exactly have a bright neon arrow pointing to it. The fact that it remains hard to release. Locate place is our only chance of finding the ship still there. So what do we do them. We have to find it at some point. Let's try to stay alive until we do. I have a map. Maybe looking at can give you a clue what the outpost could be. Hmm. <laughs> no. Sorry. However, what? While flying over this area, I saw some places that looked interesting. Here, let me mark them down for you. Okay, let's see. There's a restaurant to the west, and there's also this house right here. I think someone still lives there. Maybe this information will turn out to be somewhat useful. You know, I, this might sound weird, but I had a bad dream yesterday, and it came true. 
A cloud of deadly gas has moved through this area, killing everything in its path. Well, the dream almost came true because I died in that dream. In reality, I took it as a warning and prepared myself for the threat. A dream, you say? Yeah, I know. I'm not like, making that up. There really was some sort of prophet of a dream, and it saved me because I knew what to expect. I don't even believe it in stuff like that. I'm not a crazy person. I do believe in dreams. You do? Yes. Does it make me a crazy person? I don't know, but I think sometimes a dream can guide us or help us find a solution that we otherwise can't find. So tonight I had another dream. I was still here in this house, and all of a sudden there was a heat surge. It got so hot it, it killed me on the spot. I think this might happen tonight. I must sound like a lunatic, I know, but trust me, I know I'm right. We're gonna find out ourselves if if you're right. Let's go then. We should prepare for your prophecy. And what about that outpost? It's out there. We'll keep a lookout for it. I met the helicopter pilot. Her name is Kate. She says she knows her outpost for the spaceship that can use to leave the planet. I have no idea what the planet is and she doesn't really talk about it. Oh, I thought the note was going to be like... I recognize her. Well, the Earth's climate is a chaotic mess. The sort of thing happens more than more frequently now. So this is about why is it getting hot. It's probably a temporary event. Temperature should be back to normal tomorrow. Oh, we can get to see that happen. Of course we will. As I said, David, I have plans. Place is a visit. A spaceship to grab. A risk of heat stroke ain't gonna stop me. Oh, I know. Oh, I know indeed. Alright. So, I'm gonna say you destroy the barricades for later so we can actually, uh, you know. Get out there. We need this. We don't need you. You can stay here as well. But we're gonna use this finally! Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna do that so I can eh, jump back out of the window. Oh my god. Okay, yep. Yeah, he, he is coming. I guess we should find ways to cool down. Oh, uh, I need to get coldy first. Oh, 100 minutes. Nice, now we can go through. I should take, oh yeah. Okay, leaflets. So this is about the coma. Does this have something to do with the apple you're looking for? Because it says cyril plexus. Just because it says cyril plexus doesn't mean anything. Cyril plexus has more than branches than you can imagine, including this burger restaurant. I had no idea they were running a facility like this, for instance, but it's only more disturbing when I think about it. Why? Forget it. It doesn't matter. Let's keep going. No, I want to talk about this. No, I want to... Come on. Damn it. Go away. I saw this place first. I'm warning you. I know how to fight. Calm down, kid. You can come... <gasps> oh my god. You can calm down, Cody. We're friends. How do you know my name? I know his voice is changing. I can't keep it. I don't know. It just came to me. Stay away. I don't know you. I think. Go away or else. Yeah, exactly the same. I have my... Yep. Yeah. You. Flag, rope, too heavy for me, let me push it. David, do you have any clue how ship your IDs are? Don't be mean, Kate. I did it.
Got that. That's new. Oh, the heat pack! The weird tile shapes I never ever used. I don't want that. I want to break open the fridge with a crowbar. It's faster than breaking the shutter proof glass. Yeah, I guess. Okay, I've got a bottle of water to prepare. Dehydration. To pre uh, prevent. Supplies, Cody. Hi. Uh, I've done the twin. I'm a wizard. I can teleport. Really? Absolutely. I don't believe you. Who fit? Teleport to there to the window. Can't. I'm uh, out of mana points. <laughs> there you go. Here, take this. What is that? Food! Wow, you are a good person after all. I wouldn't say good. Maybe I'll put clumsy and soft. Come with us, Cody. Come on. It's really hot. I'm mounting. Is there any nick nearby? Or maybe a pool? Yeah, a pool would be amazing right now. Can we go look for one? I don't think we have time for that. But it's so hot. I'm going to swim in the pool faster than you. I give up. I won't even try. Congratulations. Yay, I win. Okay, everything's the same. Apart from it's hot. Instead of... Oh! Careful now, I know this gas. Let me guess, is the gas in the last night that almost killed you? Yeah, the cloud is gone, but some... Oh, that wasn't the voice. Sorry! Someone must be stuck here from the poor ventilation. Too bad it's blocking our way now. Do you think we can do something good to get rid of it? Honestly, I don't know if there's anything we can do that won't take the entire day. I bet this is just to spurt some of by tomorrow. Let's just come back later. Okay, so... With that... We can pile the stuff in the car. So we won't have to use it for a while. Okay. Now we can go meet... Barry! May we try and keep him alive. Hey. Please leave. Just leave me alone. I mean you no harm. Yeah, he's pretty much harmless. Hey, please. My name is David. The boy over there is Cody. You don't look too good. Can you tell us what happened? I'm Barry. It's about my wife. She... She didn't make it. Last night, she died. Why? God, why her? It should have been me. It should have been me. And she's still there, in the house. I don't know what to do. Come on, David. This guy's had enough. Wait, Barry. What do you want? Have we met before? I don't... Wait, I... Did I meet you at the gas station before the world ended or something? What's going on, Kate? Why do I keep feeling like I've been here before? James, maybe? Yeah. Yes, bullshit. Kate, do you know the truth? No, I mean, yes, but there's more to it. Well, whoever you are, don't. what do you want? Come with us. Try and go in. Distract him. Without the gun! Thank you. I'm not too sure this will change. I don't think so. Ooh, that's not good. Right, I'm sorry if you're reading this. It probably means I didn't make it. Please don't let it be your demise. Remember to me and live a good life. When time comes, I know you made the right decision. Yours, Maggie. Oh, I'm growing coats. God, the heat. It's a great effect. But, uh, I think that's everything in here. Right, here's the locket. This belongs to your wife. You should take a look inside then. Where did you get it? Uh, there's a note inside the thought. Where did you get it? Listen, I. 
There's no one inside. I think you need to read what it says. Should just sneak into my house and touch my wife. Stop it. Did you? Barry, wait. Come on, Barry. Barry, just read the freaking note. Oh my god. I'm sorry for taking that, but I thought you should have it. No, no. It's okay, Barry. When did she write it? How did she know? Those are good questions. Sometimes people can sense things right before they happen, right, David? I know I could technically do this without having to worry about these, but... Uh, Cody and Barry, but I want to try and get them. I want them to survive with us. I want to get the true ending with all of us. Even if it's hard and difficult. Come on, Barry, let's go. Holy. Doing some food? <laughs> That's so sweet of him. So I'm not waiting for this because I've actually done this a few times now. So we're just going to uh, move on. And I think that's... Oh, it's Barry. Let me, let me, let me, Barry, Barry, Barry! Barry, Barry, come back! Okay, I can't use so much fuel. I don't think it's normal. 80 minutes? Go ahead. There, now it should use much less fuel. So we never have to come back here ever again because we have everything. We have everything at the, the burger place. Everything should be fine. We still need blankets. I remember that. That that was the thing to cover up the the how the windows, wasn't it? And there was something out here. Ooh, look at that heat! These tracks weren't here yesterday. The rod ahead is blocked. Maybe someone was trying to go around the crash site. That's possible, I guess. Let's follow the tracks and see where they take us. Yeah. The gas has obliterated these human beings. Looks like they tripped in and well, I wonder what happened. My guess is their card broke down. RVs are not the best suited for off-world travel, you know. They said at camp and then the toxic cloud got them. Yep, that's uh, horrific. Need you. Hmm. Okay, is that everything? Call these help zero. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Man, we have so many wars. More water. More water. And jackets for some reason. I'm a little bit more unsure about this one because we haven't actually faced this one. Last time I had the clues because we, we we didn't survive the night, but we we got to see what affected us and I kind of knew where everything would be on that first day. But now, now it gets complicated. It's much easier to warm up than it is to cool down, I feel like, in this game, possibly. So just, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to affect us. But we got the water spray, we got the heat absorbing tiles, whatever whatever they do we've got blankets hopefully just okay and we're having more callbacks to the last one the last playthrough which is great and i hope you know we'll, Kate will be more honest with us i wish we could confront it now but i'll hold off i i i hope the game knows what it's doing but we'll sure finish this day off tomorrow. And uh, just uh, don't know if we'll survive like maybe the first round, but we'll certainly survive the second round. So we'll try it out for tomorrow. So right now, that is it for today, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, one swipe for more awesome content. That's you in this video. Hiya. Yeah.